fact that Mr. Neko in the top right corner literally has every single out of the 25 world records. He has 1 million campaign points. He literally has every single one. Map 1, map 2, map 3, map 4. Literally every single one. And uh, yeah, I don't even want to try to ruin it. Even though I probably cannot even ruin it. But I also don't even want to try. So he literally has them all, which is honestly insane for uh, an official campaign, uh, campaign like that. So I think before we um, play every single map ourselves, I am first of all gonna check out every single world record to see what uh, Neko and also the others uh, have come up with in terms of strategies. So we're gonna do a little bit of a world record reaction here. And then we're also gonna play the maps ourselves at least a little bit. So we're gonna start on map one, obviously. Neko with the world record, point 89. Second place is by Plekyu. Let's see, I don't even remember the maps to be honest. So let's see uh, what kind of strats they have. First of all, we have a little bit of a uh, low jump here. Then of course the strat with desert, you can see people are tapping like crazy. Tapping is faster when you play desert. So he won't smooth step through the turn, he will tap as much as possible. Because with that it's just possible to keep uh, more speed through the turns basically. Interesting low jump into the finish. Alright, that's my one. Okay. Gonna be interesting for the later maps and maybe I can also learn something because of course the desert car has been out for uh, yeah 21 years already now um, but um, a lot of the blocks for example like the plastic here in the start did not exist in the older games so uh, maybe there's some new mechanics or stuff I don't know we will see for example ice ice very interesting he is doing a no slide and he is keeping 10 times more speed than I did and yeah here you perfectly see how you wanna play desert if possible, you always want to uh, keep your grip with all four wheels, so you don't want your wheels to lift up. And uh, by tapping, you keep more speed, basically. And this turn is a perfect example. Look at that. Tap, 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 tap. Never lift, uh, left wheels never lifting up. Tap, 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 tap. And it's just insane how much speed you can keep. It looks easy, but um, like the amount of speed you lose when you don't do it like that is literally stupid. It is literally stupid. By a clean up here, nothing too crazy. Interesting. What I'm also gonna do, of course, in the near future is to play the desert campaign, so this one here, um, with all of the other cars. So with stadium car, with rally car, and also with the snow car. That's gonna be interesting as well. So this here, also very interesting. Over the penalty grass, you wanna do these two-wheel movements because you just have less contact with the penalty surface. And because of that, you just keep yeah more speed, basically. Because you have less contact with the surface that slows you down pretty easily. So for that he's doing like a left-right steer. And yeah, like, everybody is doing that, but he's just doing it the best. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's all about steering rhythms, basically, but Neko just perfectioned it, basically. Alright, next up, Desert on Road, point 14 ahead of second. Okay. So once again, you will see tap 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 It's crazy. Like, with wheel, it's literally impossible to beat these world records. Unless I have, like, a giga low sensitivity and I can tap with wheel. But that is uh, exactly as cursed as it looks like, or as it sounds like. So, yeah. I will not be contending the world records here. I had my fun with snow and with desert, uh, with rally. But on desert, uh, I'm just out. That's crazy, man. This is a pretty technical map. Which is also why the gaps here are a little bit bigger. Yeah, tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Only small amount of time on two wheels. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, true. The smooth steering, as, uh, as Neko says in the chat, is for uh, two wheeling. So when he two wheels, for example, in this turn, you see uh, you still need to smooth steer. So smooth steering can still be good in certain, uh, in certain sections, but uh, yeah, the tapping is still very essential. Which is why Desert is uh, best played with pet, for sure. Because with keyboard, you will have issues with the smooth steering. With wheel, you will have issues with the tapping, pretty much. Okay, next. Uh, yeah, Fosti, I knew it uh, It was not because of your spamming. <laughs> like, spamming me about doing certain content won't help me doing that content earlier. I just decided to do it when it was time. So now, this map uh, has some other cars as well. But the thing is, Neko is not only good on desert, he's also really good on snow and rally. So, uh... Yeah, here you can... That's actually a pretty interesting map because you see you have the same type of turns with every single car. And 
you can see with um, the snow car in the beginning, you have um, a lot of grip, so you can go inside, but you still got a smooth steer. With rally, you have less grip, and you also got a smooth steer a lot. And then once you hit the desert, you just go tap 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 tap, tap 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 tap, tap 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 tap. It's crazy. It looks so easy to drive, but it's not. It really isn't. All right, next up, new loops. Okay, a point thirty-three by Mr. Neko. Okay, late entry into the stadium point here, then back to desert. Okay, here you actually have to full steer, otherwise you don't get around. This one taken as a wall ride, interesting. And then here, back to tap tap tap. <laughs> and tap 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 tap. If I would smooth steer this turn, you would literally lose like 20 speed or so. It's crazy. The difference is literally crazy. How does he have every single world record? That's so insane, man. Holy shit. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Next up, Desert C1 Reloaded. My name is Neko and I'm 0.4 ahead of second. Yeah, hello? Of course. Of course. I think he even has a world record on the official Desert C1 in Trackmania United. Which makes it very interesting. <laughs> Zack. Then you have a bit of a penalty sand section here. Then here you can do a wiggle, reducing some contact. Crazy tricks here. Crazy tricks. Also here, it looks so goofy, but you just reduce your contact with the penalty. It looks so stupid, but it's faster. It is just faster. Crazy run. Very tricky map, actually, if you think about it. <coughs> yeah, Nico is swerving hard in this campaign. It's crazy. Mm. And not even a desert AO8 can stop him. Okay, that's crazy. What is the strat on this map? Okay, kind of clean landing here. Also kind of clean here. Oh. Okay, that uh, was very sexy. Look at that. He basically uses the tilt of the car to like dip over the edge and to get a low jump to land here. That was honestly juicy. And then he has perfect speed to land smooth in this downhill. Wow, mashallah. Then clean landing here, controlling the car. Insane, man. Insane. Very, very beautiful. <coughs> so, desert dirt. What is the play here? Once again, a lot of tap tap tap, of course. Obviously. Tap tap tap. Tap tap tap. Smooth steering on the two wheels. Tap 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 tap. Holy moly, he keeps so much speed. The thing is, desert really looks like, yeah, yeah, just copy the lines and you will be fast. But, no. Also, it's crazy how much grip the desert car has. Look how much speed he can keep through this. Like, none of the other cars could keep so much speed through these kind of turns. Like, stadium car would be way slower, snow would be slower, rally would be slower. Crazy, actually. Desert car is really fast, actually. It might not look like it, but it is really fast. Uh, tips for having consistent landings with the, des with the desert car. Yeah, the thing is with desert car and also with uh, snow and rally car, um, air braking is not working. So if you brake in the air, literally nothing happens. So the only um, way to control your cars, uh, to, to control your car in the air, is basically to uh, counter steer. So to steer left and right in the air. That somehow, or like somewhat stabilizes your rotation. But uh, other than that, you cannot really do anything. It's a bit hard to control. This map very interesting because Neko um, is not insane on a uh, stadium. I think I'm allowed to say that, Neko. <laughs> not his best envy. But uh, he had a good first lap and then in the second lap he's just... Yeah, running away. I, w I would guess the others are uh, way further in front. If we... Okay, you know what? Let's put Shadowcrancer on. Shadowcrancer and Drinte. I would bet that they are ahead of Neko in the first lap. But then Neko is just uh, zooming away. Wait, we need this view. So look at this. Also here, not the greatest line, not even a full outside line. He is at least 0.2 behind Shadow Crancer. Probably 0.3. But in the ending, he's 0.3 ahead. Hello guys, my name is Neko, the Desert Abuser. Look how he just gains with the clean lines, the clean inputs. It's, it's stupid. It looks so easy, but Neko just mastered it on another level. 
He gains in every single turn with every single steering movement, with every single precise tap he is gaining. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Holy moly. Eh? Yeah, with Desert Core you can really gain a lot of time. It looks so simple, but uh, as I said, in every single turn, every single input it matters. Next up, Grassy Desert. Okay, what was this? A grass map, I guess? Once again, tap, 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 tap. Oh, he tap, tap, taps through the entire turn. Crazy. Also here, tap, tap, tap. Clean landing. Up here, tap, 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 tap. Uh, I'm jealous. As a real player, I am jealous because I cannot tap, tap, tap like this. Then the wiggle again because we have penalty grass to uh, don't lose as much speed. Then very tight turn here. That requires a lot of smooth steering. And then we have to finish the... Ah, never, never mind. Not yet. <laughs> Jump up. Another Nadeo toilet bowl. And then the finish. Okay. Alright, alright. Also 0.26 ahead of second again. And Black Hue is also insane. Like, he, you guys probably know Black Hue from, like, the... Uh, from the Riolu things, from Virtual's video and stuff. But besides being a troll and a very XCD person, Black Hue is also a really good player nonetheless. So... Being point 26 ahead of him is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> Next up, Death Tech. So a technical desert map. Um, yeah, on these technical type of maps, um, the skill gap is of course even higher. So you will see him running away once again. Not even a lot of tapping here. Mostly smooth steer turns because you have a lot of speed. Actually only smooth steer turns. A little bit of releasing, but almost only smooth steering. Barely any tapping, a little bit, but not much. Yeah, here for example, here. Yeah, okay, here, big tapping part. Smooth steering here again. Crazy. Zack, jump up. I'm really looking forward to play all of these maps with snow car, by the way. That's gonna be really cool. That's gonna be something I will do on another day. Okay, next up. He doesn't even read it. Okay, wait, I have to read the copy pasta. Looking to possibly get banned as I simply cannot stop watching Kanadi. My, my chair is filthy, my room is filthy, my mom is disabled and is therefore filthy too. <laughs> I just really need to escape it all and I feel as though the only way is by getting banned. Please help with my addiction. Yeah, most normal copypasta in uh, Kanadi's chat. Thank you very much Iridium, I appreciate it. <laughs> Next up, Desert Castle. So uh, a desert map on these Rally Castle blocks. Very tricky block to drive on because uh, the sides are quite bumpy and it's easy to lose grip with the cars. But I guess it will not be an issue for Neko. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost lost grip here though. Very scary turn here. I remember I crashed this like a lot of times. Zack, turn, turn, turn. Keep the speed. Wow, look how far he's jumping, man. That just shows how much speed he has in comparison to how the map was calculated. Very bumpy, but very, very clean. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. <coughs> Plazard. Oh my god, these names, man. Plastic Desert. <laughs> uh. So here a little... Oh, side jump. Interesting strat. To get land a little bit earlier, basically. Then keeping good speed here. A bit of a mixture of smooth steering and tapping here. Probably because plastic doesn't have the highest grip. I guess. Very interesting. Zack, jump. And suck, and suck. Hop, hop. Ah, it's just so clean, man. It's just so clean, man. Holy moly, eh. Holy moly. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, just everything clean. Everything really fucking clean. Now, this map is actually uh, very, very special. This map is called DICE, which stands for Desert Ice. And according to my knowledge, um, Neko actually spent 23 hours on this map already in order to get the world record and the clean sweep of that. Reason why he needed so much time on this is the fact that um, Desert Car on Ice is not really normal Desert Car. It is uh, very different with the inputs. You have to do some Ice sliding sort of. I still don't know how this works myself. And uh, yeah, Dara for example is really good at this. But Neko basically invested one entire day of his life into this map just to get the clean sweep. 
and it's crazy. Interesting strat here with the snow skip. This map I already struggled on to get uh, the offer time on because the AT is really good here. And he's like almost two seconds ahead. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Clean line here in the ending as well. Very juicy. Only uh, 0 0.016 ahead, uh, 0.018 ahead of Dera though. So this one might get uh, recovered by him in the future. I don't know. But uh, yeah, at the current status, he has it. But yeah, I can really not explain to you how this works. Desert Eye is literally a mystery to me. Next up, Woody Desert. This is very interesting. A wood desert map. So how much can you send it? How much more grip do you have in comparison to road? Seems like you do have a bit more at least. Okay, also here, of course, a lot of tapping. Zack. I really like the look of this, by the way. This looks like a western themed wooden roller coaster, kinda. I really love how the way th th this looks. Beautiful map. Dara and Vitor also hunted the ice map a lot. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Boah! Okay, stop. Boah! Inshallah. That was insane. I also keep so much speed, man. It's crazy, man. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I gotta watch this again. This was beautiful. Not only the map, but also the run. Zack, up, a lot of speed. Then here, a lot of tapping. Seems to be very important to keep a lot of speed here. Tap, 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 tap. Always on four wheels. Jump up here. He, you see how far he jumps. He almost hits the checkpoint. Tap, tap, tap. Small two wheel. Tap, tap, tap. Up here, two wheel smooth steer. Tap, 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 tap. It's always like a mixture. Whenever you have to two wheel, you wanna do it. And when you can avoid it, you wanna uh, four wheel and tap. That's it's actually really complicated when you wanna master it. Yeah, crazy run, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Every single run. Narrow, what was this map? Oh my god, he is 0.5 ahead of second. Neko, stop. What is that? Okay, so this one uses a lot of these narrow roads, I see. So probably rather technical and slow map. And also a lot about dodging the penalty grass, I assume. And once again, mixture of tapping here, a big smooth steer left turn. Once again, tapping. But no, like, crazy tricksters on the map so far. Like, mainly, it's literally just about clean racing, which is honestly also cool to see. The thing is with the desert car, of course, there also aren't a lot of like wicked strats that you can do with them. There's no bug sliding, no uber bug, no spark, whatever. It's basically only driving. But yeah, you see how much uh, time you can gain when you master it. Crazy man, crazy. American speed, boah. What was this again? Was this a full speed map? I think this was the full speed map. What is the strat here? Also here, tapping extremely important, otherwise you lose a shit ton of speed. Tap, 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 tap. And tap, tap, tap. You have to tap so fast, by the way, sometimes. It's crazy. Like, you really gotta feel it in your thumb. <laughs> zack, zack. Dude, he's so fast, man. The wall right here, clean exit. Also, even on this high speed, keeping two-wheel contact as much as possible. Still doing the tapping. But then, of course, a bit slower, otherwise he would uh, turn too much. Here, also two-wheel, very clean, tap, 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 inside line, into the finish. Holy moly, wait, who's this? Zack! Nice name. <laughs> very nice name. Ah, yeah, wait, we had a hydrate, yeah, I'm hydrating. Boah, look at this! A map called Half Pipes. Lou Fogg hunted it. Lou Fogg, always known to be extremely good on half pipe or like quarter pipe jumps. And still, Neko beat him. Crazy, man. Crazy. So let's see how clean the jumps are. Early landing here, of course. All of these jumps, you want to reduce airtime as much as possible, as you guys probably know. But then, of course, you still have the desert abusing here. Tap, 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 tap. And that's probably also... Oh, a wall. Okay, okay. A wall bang to get a better angle and to reduce speed. Okay, interesting. We're gonna look at the comparison later. Because I'm pretty sure uh, Lufax is probably losing in the, in the desert car parts. He probably has some better quarter pipes. But then the desert driving parts 
he's losing, I would assume. We're going in. Okay, first one, kind of equal. Okay, actually not even a hat. I don't know how good Lufok is with Desert Car. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Oh, really good quarter pipe. Yeah, he gained a little bit there. And that was a sick landing. One more quarter pipe. Oh, he... Oh, Neko actually saved the last one a lot. Look at this. He overjumped it by a lot. Definitely lost like 05 there or so. Actually, very close. He only was 5,000 ahead at, at the ending. Monka. Monka, Monka, Monka. A smile close up. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mitch. If you wanna see why Virtual quit Deep Dip, uh, just watch his video on Virtual TV. Oh my god, man, he is 0.68. Uh, he's 0.68 ahead of second. What is this, man? This is so unfair. He's 0.685 ahead of second on a campaign map, basically. What is this? Sausage Desert map. Okay, this one was really hard, I think. So you could probably send it a lot. Full steer here, tap tap tap. Okay, what are the lines here? Reactor boost, inside keeping grip. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Releasing. Zack. With Desert Car, by the way, you never really need the break. You can just always release. Zack. Oh my god, it's so clean, man. Ah, it's so clean, it's so clean, it's so clean, it's so clean, like everything, look at this, full risk, Zack almost flipping out, but he saves it, full steer here, not sliding out, tap the top at the exit to gain more speed. There's just so many small tricks that you barely even see. Like when you don't really know about desert, this looks like a clean run for you, but not more. But when you know about desert, you just see how freaking insane this is. It's just crazy, there is literally, like there is a reason why he's so far ahead. Also, clean jump here, into the turn, full steering, full speed exit. Ah, holy moly. Eh. Yeah, yeah, Neko is a Trekmena United player. Not just any, like, he's a really good player in general, but uh, his main strength is Desert. Like, he is considered the best Desert player by far. Wet Desert, also here, almost 0.6 ahead of second. What is the play with wet tires? I mean, in general, with wet tires, you just have uh, less grip. So you gotta be more careful with the steering. Is there anything else to watch out for? Oh, he still has a lot of grip though. But he has less grip, but still a lot actually. Boah. Very clean here. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, this seems like a very smooth steer friendly map. True. But it's weird. I don't like wet tires, Nico. So, <laughs> I don't think I will hunt any of these maps a lot. Interesting the airtime you get underwater and full speed into the finish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fast. Very, very fast. Two wheelers. Oh, this was this was honestly my most favorite map. Because this one um, uses all cars that you have in the game now, all four. And with every single car, you perform two wheels. So even with Stadium Car, as you can see here, you perform two wheels. Then with Desert Car, zack, two wheel. Suck, two wheel, two wheel. The next up with snow car, even with snow car you can two wheel. But you probably want to avoid it as much as possible. But you see a little bit the, the wheels are lifting. And then with ready car, you... Okay, he's not doing... Yeah, okay, there we go. Really cool. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I hate being sick. What was the ending here? Yeah, even with stadium car, look at this. Okay. But in theory, you can two-wheel with Stadium Car and Wood as well. Yeah, really clean. But only uh, 01 ahead of Black Q. So actually, a good race. <coughs> mm -hmm. I quickly have to... have to uh, hydrate my, my throat. Who's the overall best Trickman United Forever player? Uh, yeah, that's Sander, for sure. Overall Sander. <coughs> desert League. This one is very interesting, because um, this is supposed to be like a competitive desert map. So, uh, yeah, usually uh, competitive maps, maps back in the days in Trickman United were all like pretty technical, 
and uh, yeah, very hard to drive overall. So this is what's being driven in Trackmania United competitions, which is also why you see four Trackmania United players at the top. And uh, yeah, nonetheless, Nico is 0.2 ahead of his opponents. Zack, zack. Zack. Okay, you can keep grip here, nice. And uh, once again, a mixture of tap abusing and smooth steering. <coughs> Every single turn he just nails. I mean, the records are of course not maxed. You can of course still gain a lot, but like, you also gotta keep in mind, it's 25 maps he has to defend at once. And the maps are only out for, yeah, two or three weeks. Like, that's crazy. It's a really sick effort overall. Now this map, this map was uh, very hard for me in the discovery. Let's see, are there any strats? This map overall is really cool though, it's like a desert RPG map kinda. Where tapping is also extremely important. Okay, small two wheel there and you see how much time that gained in comparison to me. Look at this, small two wheel here and he's just pulling away, just with this. Crazy. Okay, bit of a low jump from the side, I like that. Then going up the hill here. Inside line, instantly going down, clean landing. Then here, tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. Now up this. Ca is he doing it full speed? No, small release, but very clean line again. Then through the hole. Uh. Zack, zack. Then the quarter pipe? Yep. Yeah, he's barely even jumping, like super clean. And also here, tap, tap, tap. Up here, down here, clean landing. And once again a wiggle. It looks so goofy, but it's just faster. It is just faster. It looks dumb, but it's faster. <laughs> Very nice. And with that, I think we only have one more uh, world record to watch. And that is, of course, the endurance map. Desert Master. Two minutes, 49 long. He is uh, actually only 0.9 ahead of uh, second. But I'm pretty sure if he would have to play this more, he could shave off a lot more time here. So let's see if there's anything... Uh yeah, hello guys, my name is Kranadi! Kran... Oh. <laughs> Yek! Yek, what was that line by me? Look at this, I just slid. Yek. <laughs> but I was ahead. But yeah, you can, like, if you want to, you can get, you can shave off way more. Uh, do you mean me, Frokizio, or do I will play the maps after I finished watching this, yes, but I will not do a lot of hunting because there's just no point with wheel. Wheel is just, uh, for most of these records, I'm literally not able to do this. Like, not only skill-wise, but also just device-wise. Device-wise, you know what I mean. So clean here, then tap, 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 tap. So this map, of course, um, basically unites everything that you learned on the previous 24 maps. So you have the underwater, you have the wet tires, you have the wood, you have the road, you have the dirt, you have the wiggles, you have everything, basically. So, uh, yeah, with all kinds of desert skills needed, this is, of course, uh, an easy clap for Neko here once again. Smooth line here, keeping a lot of speed through the sausage. Zack, jump up. Smooth line here, oi, oi, oi. <coughs> then up left, big release, but still keeping so much speed through this hairpin. Small slide actually, that probably lost a little bit. Then another underwater section. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little oopsie called a uh, record on camera. Probably didn't really lose anything, but we saw it. <laughs> but he probably spent like 10 minutes on this map, learned it, drove one good run and was like, yup. <laughs> So then a jump here to land smooth in the downhill, or at least you're supposed to land smooth. Of course you don't land smooth when you're way too fast for the entire map. Up left here, ping, ping, ping. Suck. Left, 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 tap, tap, tap. Small penalty section once again, reducing as much contact as possible. Suck, downhill, not sliding. Also here, dodging the penalty, tap, tap, tap. 
Ay, ay, ay. The thing is, like, Neko is not even thinking about it, probably. Like, he's not even thinking about, oh, I need to tap in this turn, and then I need to do a little bit of smooth steering. This is just all feeling for him, which makes this even more crazy when you think about it. We even have some bobsleigh here with this really weird new block. I, what is he actually... Wait, what is he doing on bobsleigh? How do you do uh, a desert bob? Dob. How do you do dob? Are you also just tapping? Yeah, like tapping, a little bit of steering. I don't know. Zack and finish jump. And with that, we have seen every single world record in the campaign, or how you can also call it, every single uh, of Neko's PBs. Uh, Neko's PBs. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's an official campaign. Multiple thousands of people have played it, tens of thousands of people. And this man <coughs> has every single record. It's just crazy. Massive shout out to Nico. That is uh, an insane achievement. I don't know if he's, he will be able to keep them all in the long term, but <coughs> even having them all at yeah at one point is something basically nobody can achieve. Like it's just a crazy achievement.